Cheers. Cheers, bud. Hey, Colin. Hey, Karen. We hear Alpine's your drink of choice. Yeah, it is on the weekend, especially if I'm going to drink a few of them. <laughs> we certainly owe you a beer or two after you saved our butts on many a closing. I, I won't say no to that. <laughs> Colin, we see your from the ground up trucks often, but a lot of people might not know the extent of your services. What is it that you do? So we do junk removal. We'll do the labor like behind that as well. If people need help lifting the, the heavy items and that sort of stuff. We rent dumpsters and we also have gotten into demolition work. So like interior, if, you, if you're commercial work or residential. Awesome. How long have you been in business now? This will be our ninth year this year. Wow. Believe it or not, yeah. So how did you grow the business from the ground up to become one of Fredericton's success stories? Uh, the name kind of just speaks for itself. We just kind of do a little bit of everything and that keeps us busy all year round. And just little by little with great employees and great customers, repeat customers, we've built it to be what it is now. How many employees do you have now? I've got two full-time employees right now going into the winter months. Okay. Plus myself. And Whip. And Whip, the spokesman. <laughs> People might not know, where does the junk go after you clean out someone's garage or basement? So, yeah, so we never do the illegal dumping thing. We always bring it to the landfill, but I do the best that I can to separate the scrap metal and that sort of stuff, recycle it, and, uh, but yeah, the landfill is, is, and if there's anything useful, we'll give it away to somebody in need or, or anything like that. You recently added a huge piece to your business. Tell us about that. Yeah, so in the last, uh, two months ago, I, uh, purchased a Fredericton dumpster service. They were my main competitor in the in the dumpster business. So with that now I've doubled in size with the dumpsters that we have that are uh, That we rent so I've got 23 bins with three different sizes and uh, yeah So fr from the ground up and Fredericton dump service is run under the same business But it's it basically is just two business two different business names. Good for you. Thank you. You work really long hours Where can we catch you outside of work? Uh, well, I do love craft beer along with uh, the Alpines. Uh, joined recently over at the, the Trailway uh, Bowling League. Um, that or just uh, around town and uh, in my man cave of a garage that I got. Okay, so serious question. What is your bowling team name? Uh, we are called the Spares and Gutters. <laughs> Colin, what is the most interesting thing that you found in your junk removal or demo adventures? We've, uh, we've come across some pretty cool things. Um, my garage at home has got a lot of those, but uh, this past summer we were doing a job for a couple of ladies and we found an old grenade that uh, kind of uh, set the town up, uh, like set that the police came, everyone came. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, wasn't legit, it was legit, but it wasn't active or anything like that, but uh, I ruffled some feathers downtown. No kidding. Well, thank you so much, Colin. We'll no doubt see you at our next closing. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Give me a call. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Nothing like a good old Alpino oh, Grigio. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week for another Pints with the Pros with the Cyroid Group of Gardner Realty, Royal LePage.